for me the Get Creative Festival is a really important part of our, our cultural calendar and obviously with it being a national initiative but an ability to, to put a local flavour on it that, that's why it appealed to us as, as a borough council. I'm going to sh show you something about Purushiki which is the Japanese art of wrapping presents in material really important that we were part of that opportunity for communities to work with local creative um, artists and groups you know just to have a go at, at things and to, to provide a calendar of events and a program that allows people just to have a go at something new or maybe pick up something that they've done in the past and haven't done for a while and lack the confidence to, to do on their own. And also a wonderful opportunity for some of those groups and artists to really showcase their talents and show what, what, what they can do. I, I spoke to Liz who was leading that project and we discussed about going into a, a unit in the town centre because it's a focal point so it made sense to sort of be amongst the people. You know, that's how you get into those conversations, that's how people get to see what you're doing and if they've got any interest in, in that. I chose a theme of connection and I found it important that perhaps we could just start putting the spotlight back on to that again as people started to come out and about and started to meet and chat and have that social exchange. I missed having those connections with people. Ever since I was a kid I always loved music. But I never really had a chance to work into the UK and I had the facilities to do, you know, to grab an actual instrument and my first instrument was actually a drum before I started playing bass. Well, we've been jamming together for nearly six months, I think, yeah. Every Saturday, every Sunday, we're just there practicing and practicing, learning songs and learning songs. But here in CCY, you come along and join along and just, you know, jam and then a lot of people start liking our music and then it gives us more strength to, you know, do more things around and get better. Art is our culture, isn't it? But some people find their community through theatre or football or through film, perhaps. And that's what, that's what brings people together, I think. If you think of all the energy that comes back to the artist from that audience, you know, because it draws on our emotional being, yeah, that's what it taps into. And that's why it's so important, because it makes us feel connected and, you know, talked about COVID, arts, culture and, and things like crafts as well. I think they've probably been incredibly important to a lot of people and got them through some really difficult times when we haven't had the connections with our friends, our family, just the rest of the world in the way that we're used to. The first day after lockdown, I'm not going to lie, there were a few children who cried a little bit because it's the first time they'd been in that situation where there are other children around them. They loved it, we loved it, and you could see instantly. So yeah, I was born and raised in Crawley and I love that. You know, I've come back and I'm now giving my experiences and my passion and my love to hopefully the next generation of performers. We've got a choir here at Manor Green College, which is a community choir, so it's both for students, staff, parents, and anybody else from the community who wants to join in. We love it, we, we really enjoy it. Singing has been shown to improve breath and um, mental well-being, as well as mindfulness, to you know, leave all your troubles away. Everybody gets a lot from it, yeah, we do. We do. We're looking forward to being able to be in a room and singing again. Something magical happens when lots of voices sing together, especially seeing them sign so confidently to our songs and to, to express themselves in their own ways. There's so much talent in Crawley, like, it's hard to describe, there's rappers, there's singers, producers, instrumentalists, filmmakers, whatever field you look into, there's someone doing it in Crawley. It's such a diverse town, there's so many different like backgrounds and races here, and it's like just this massive melting pot of culture. 
that produces some incredible art. Crawley is a great place to be for art. It's got a lot of potential and I feel like DMT does offer that kind of community vibe as well as the family vibe. So we do feel like we try and pull as much of the community in to try and involve as many people as possible. And there's so many people from Crawley that have gone into the industry. Arts and culture for me is an incredibly important um, for our children and young people. How do we make it acceptable that actually a career in the arts is something that's legitimate and, and should be encouraged? And there's huge evidence to show that for young people that are maybe on the cusp of choosing a path that maybe isn't positive, actually it's often arts and culture that, that can be that thing that turns their attention and actually gets them back onto a really positive path and, and leads to incredible things. So I think the power of it is, is really impressive. Thank you.